the fancier UAV autopilot or uh, UAV stabilization unit all have accelerometers and an accelerometer is basically just a um, it's just a beam with a with a mass at the end of it that when there's an acceleration the beam bends just a tiny amount this is macroscopic in size but when it when it bends it there's an electrical charge generated and it measures that okay and like like most sensors that that are for measuring movement you need three of them at right angles to each other so that you can measure in, in three dimensional space but uh, you know in a in a UAV you you're actually you have to, you actually have to fight hard to filter out the accelerations of the vehicle because what you're really trying to measure is the 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 force of gravity because the force of gravity is always going to be down so that's why you you can tell which way is up and you know force of gravity is an acceleration and you know you I, I actually I, I I said that backwards because the, even though the acceleration, the, well, the force of gravity is pulling you, now, you down, the acceleration is actually up, but that's, that's just the technicality. And it can, get, it can get tricky to measure this because, again, you know, the, the, it could be going straight on level, all of a sudden it accelerates forward. Well, it, th it may think that it, it is actually get tilting up. And, and that would be very bad because then it will try and correct and it will actually cause it to dive and all sorts of problems. So the software and the, and the processor has to be reasonably good so you can filter out the accelerations of the vehicle. But otherwise, an accelerometer is just really nice because it, it can, it, if you tell it to stay level, it, it knows which way is down, which is a big problem with gyroscopes. Gyroscopes have a lot of drift and over time it's going to get confused about which way is down so it may start going like this. But an accelerometer, is just not go, it's, that's just not going to happen. And the other really nice thing with an accelerometer is that it can recalibrate itself while it's still flying because what, it, what they do is that they look for periods when there's no, no relative motion, you know, when it seems to be going steady. So I, that's when it says, hmm, I, I think I'm just flying steady, there's no acceleration in the vehicle, uh, I can recalibrate myself, which a gyro just cannot do. A gyro just never really knows for sure if you're holding steady or not. Um, so uh, having an accelerometer is just really handy. Uh, a lot of these autopilots don't don't have one because it, of course it costs money and, and all of that. But it, but if you have one, it can make flying a, a UAV a lot easier.